Hi, my name is Henry Egloff and I'm going to show you how to work with collections and layers in Blender 2.8. So this is a little basic demonstration file that I created in Blender and I'm in the rendering tab. And as you can see up here, I can click on these different layers. So I've done a render already and the render has split out into three different layers, one with the Suzanne object on it, one with the background elements, and one with the combined layers. So layers can be really useful in Blender because you could have a bunch of elements that you have in a background, like a cityscape or something like that, and elements in the foreground, and you can organize your Blender document in such a way so that you can render out those elements as separate layers and then later combine them in an image editing program like Photoshop or something like that. So this is the kind of thing that I'm going to aim to show you how to do in this tutorial. And I'm also going to show you how to sort of set up and work with collections in Blender 2.8 and collections are really just a way of organizing the objects into your scene into different groups. So just before I get started, I'll just mention that I'm going to include um, a step-by-step -step on my website. So if any of you want to follow along um, with the steps, you can find those on my website and I'll include a link in the description below. So just getting back to Blender, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with a new empty document and I'm just going to add a mesh plane and press S on the keyboard and scale that up and I'm going to add a mesh monkey and I'm just going to position that so that I can see it on top of the plane and I might just move the cube out of the way a little bit and view through the camera. So I've just got something like that. It's, it's very, very basic, but it should be enough for this demonstration. Just move that over a little bit and maybe scale that down a bit. So something like that. So over here, you can see that the Blender document has grouped all these elements into one collection called scene collection and under that collection. So to create a collection, what I'm going to do is just right click in the outliner and click on new and that will create a new collection here. And it's just called it collection two. So I'm just going to double click on the name of that collection and I'm just going to call it background elements. And what I'm going to do is just click and drag my plane object into that collection and my cube object into that collection, something like that. And I'm going to right click and create another collection and I'm just going to call it, I don't know, Suzanne. And then I'm going to put the Suzanne object into that collection. And this collection up here, which just has the camera and light in it, I might just call that camera and light. And there we go. And so you can see that I can collapse these collections if I want to and you can always just click and drag an element out of a collection or drag it into another collection. So I think the collections is fairly straightforward. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some layers and this is a little bit, I think it's a little bit trickier. And so up here you can see that it just says view layer here. And if I went to do render image, that render doesn't look very good, but up here you can see that it just says view layer and there's no other layers there. So what I could do is I could just rename this layer here to combined layers, because that is pretty much all the layers combined. And I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this little symbol here and I'm going to call it um, background layer. And now if I click on this little drop down here I can see my two layers there and basically the layer that is appearing here is the layer that you've got selected. 
And just while I'm here, I might just create another layer here and I'll call it Suzanne layer. So what you want to do is you want to first select your layer. So I'm going to select my background layer. And what I want to do is I just want to um, disable the Suzanne element from that layer. And I guess it's called a layer, but it could also be called a layer group because a layer can contain a bunch of different groups of objects or in this case um, collections. And so what I'll do here now is I'll click on the Suzanne layer and I'll do the opposite. I'll just turn off the background elements. So what I want to do is I'm just going to try and render these all three of these layers um, separately in one rendering action. Uh, one thing I want to do before I do that is just go down to the camera settings and I'm going to switch it to cycles render and I'm going to under film select transparent. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll render the image and this might take a moment. And so you can see that up here, I've got the three different render layers, the layer for my Suzanne object, my background layer, and my combined layers. And they've all got the transparent background. So that's the basic gist of it. So I've got a few more details on the tutorial on my website. And um, you may also want to sort of just have a look around my website. I've got some examples of um, my 3D modeling and web design and app development work. And otherwise, please feel welcome to comment or subscribe.